Do I help me? Do I help me? Yes! Motherfucker! Yes! Ah. It's getting close. Well, it's not getting close actually. We've got two weeks to go. <laughs> We're actually miles away. Not even halfway yet. Don't know why I said that. Fifty miles of pain. Love it. This has basically been the day. He's been riding. I've been cycling next to him, just feeding him. time together we've got to know each other pretty well to the point where I've been lovingly spraying his ass with deep heat. I literally just heard my, my tire just explode air was coming out so we've had to do a quick stop. All these bike paths that we keep getting told to go on to are just not maintained like they're so rough so like how we've only got the punch now after four or five hours of just being on glass is actually a miracle isn't it? Today is a really big day because it's day seven so by the end of today, we've officially been going for a week. We're going to be a third of the way, closer to Land's End. See you in 12 hours. Enjoy your nap, Nickhead. We were chilling quite low on energy. And this guy pulls up in a car, gets out, comes over and shakes my hand. Turns out he's an ex-Marine. We end up chatting to him for like five, 10 minutes. The nicest guy and it's just given me the biggest pickup. And I think we're so detached from the world right now. I, I literally have no idea who knows what we're doing or what money's been raised. Today, since the minute I've met that guy, the energy's just been picked up. If you are watching this man, you're an absolute hero. Like you saved me today, so thank you. going on we were having such a good day and today I'm just really struggling to like get into it well we're about to take on somewhat of a monster quite a big hill I'm literally not motivated mate I'm not motivated I, I, I know it's bad yeah, I'm just in a very very negative mindset which I feel really bad about this is where you realize you're not immortal if that makes sense you know I'm just your average Joe and uh, this is going to be one of the tests. I'm really, really empty. Let's go and spasm. I've seen all sizes, Josh. The good, the bad, the ugly. Fuck. And the ridiculous. No one beside me. I've got no friends. In Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost the plot. Oh, I started eating this pack of rice about an hour ago and it's fuller than when I started. By day nine, you're just you're gonna be like, where's Josh? You're just gonna see me naked, just going through the fields, just in amongst the fucking sheep, just eating the grass. Bah, I've lost my shit, man. <coughs> Two flies have flown into my throat. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> so, we're gonna switch up the tactics. So my suggestion is, we have a support car behind, hazard lights on, belting out some proper 80s classics, and we go for it. That's a legitimate idea. When those beats start hitting, that voice just gets... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We need that. Let's raise the energy. Oh, baby. Big hill. Halfway up. <laughs> yes, Reese, we did it. Yes, ah, that's such a good feeling. I can't even push. Did it, ah, my brother. So we're just on our way to the mark where Chris and I finished yesterday. And today is such a huge day for us all. We're about four miles away from the border. So officially, today we cross over into England. Josh has already had an amazing day in terms of mileage, but it's about to get even better for him because his mum and sister have just shown up and they're going to surprise him as he comes through into England. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> oh my god, I'm shaking. Oh, it's such a nice surprise. Hi. Hi. Whoa. Whoa. Hi. I cannot believe you've done this. <laughs> when we saw you coming up that hill, my heart literally went. Well, 18 miles should take us three and a bit hours. Now you two are here, I'll probably see in about 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Josh. <laughs> There's no time to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be sad. Good. Love you. Alright, we'll see you later. My left pec has spasmed The ligaments my knees have gone I've got a ganglion cyst on my left wrist And it hurts every time that I push I'm in a lot of pain And I think I've lost my mind But it's all for charity Donate to me and help families cause I'm getting off this hill 10 strokes at a time <laughs> <laughs>